how come the balance sheet of the bank changes if the chairman retires, if there is a good governance? Because chairman alone does not fin uh, finalize the balance sheet. There is an audit committee, there is a management accounts, there are auditors, there are regulators, so that means something is lacking. That bank after bank, if the bank chairman retires, his NPA goes up, his profit comes down. So that is a basic issue of the governance and quality of management, quality of oversight. So these issues need to be addressed. How much of a linkage is there between the government and the RBI at this point of time? Uh, and how important will it be going forward to ensure uh, that the autonomy of the uh, RBI is preserved? There will be always debate between the two. There will be also the difference of opinion between the two in any democracy. Because anywhere in the world, government is responsible more for the revenue, generation of the revenue, spending the money. And that's why they require more growth. Where the Reserve Bank's job is price stability, financial stability. So there is also a conflict of the objective. But then there will be debate. Both are important, both are necessary. They have to be in the continuous dialogue. And during my five years association with Reserve Bank, even before that was in the banking system, I don't see there is any conflict. In terms of uh, mitigating the inflation pressures, how important a role will the government have to play going forward uh, given the fact that there are a number of supply side issues? I don't think there is any difference of opinion between the government and Reserve Bank of India at least on one count. In a society as a whole, the inflation has to be brought down, interest has to be much lower. So whatever is to be done, everybody has to do that. So in terms of uh, you know the demand coming in from the corporates saying that you know, something has to be done for the interest rates and a lot of blame is being put on the fact that RBI is not bringing down interest rates. Is that a viable debate? Do you think that that is something that holds it is is Demand is always there. You see, look, corporate for corporate, raw material, money is a raw material. It has a cost. So they would always like to see that, that this cost should be brought down. But low interest rate cannot control the high inflation. If the inflation is high, interest rates has to be high. That is the fundamentals of economics. And I don't know how do we change. And that's why we always say, if interest rate has to be brought down, inflation has to be brought down first. And temporarily to kill the inflation, we need to increase the interest rate. 